So today our topic is next one RCM method. What is RCM okay. method under what is RCM method under GST? Why we are using that one, ma'am? Okay. Suppose we are purchasing goods from undigitized dealer. At okay. that time, how to prepare invoice? What procedure we are following, ma'am? Okay. RCM method is one of the important thing under GST. Okay. Then we are using this one. What is RCM means reverse charge mechanism, ma'am? What is RCM? Okay. Reverse charge mechanism. See, ma'am. Okay. Actually, we are a regular dealer. Tax yes. of goods we are purchasing from undigitized dealer, ma'am. Okay. Regular dealer taxable goods purchasing from undigitized dealer. At that time, we are using the RCM method. That is called RCM method. Okay. Actually, regularly, so what processor it is going on in a GST? Regularly, what processor it is going on? I share your picture. See, normally we are purchasing and selling goods regular dealer to regular dealer means first to see. So we are purchasing from supplier. Okay. So we are purchasing goods from supplier. Receiver paying okay. tax to supplier, ma'am. Yes. Supplier deposits the tax amount to government. This is the process that okay. is going on. Yes. We are selling goods. We are receiving tax from customers. We are paying tax to government. Yes. But under reverse charge mechanism. We are a registered dealer, taxable goods purchasing from unregistered dealer, ma'am. Yes, yes, okay. Unregistered dealer is he is not not giving any taxable invoice. Okay. Without a tax amount, without but he is not he is not eligible to calculating any tax, ma'am. Yes, yes. That's why he is issuing normal invoice. Okay. We are no no need to pay any tax to the tax amount to that supplier, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But that same goods we are selling to customer, and that time we are receiving a tax amount, no? Yes, yes. So that's why, on behalf of supplier, that uh, reverse uh, charges, that reverse charges we are paying to government. That is called RCM mechanism, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. See here, uh, that example only I am uh, mentioned here. Supplier, he is a supplier. He is a receiver, ma'am. Okay. So we are paying, we are making a payment to supplier without GST. Yes, yes. So receiver, we are receiving tax amount from customer. That amount we are directly depositing to government. Yes. So that is RCM method. Okay. Okay, on behalf of supplier. What RCM charges we are receiving from customers? That amount directly we are depositing to government. That is called reverse charge mechanism. Reverse charges. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. So you understood, I think. Yes. When RCM method it is applicable means we are purchasing. We are a regular dealer. Regular dealer purchasing okay. are. Uh, taxable goods from unregistered dealer on that time rcm okay. method it is applicable only yes. rcm method it is applicable from purchases only ma'am okay okay next to ma'am see uh, one example i mentioned here 100 okay. ms of notebooks at 43 each gst rate hmm. is 12% okay wallpapers 10 members we are purchasing 200 each okay. From Balaji Stores, he is a unregistered dealer. How to prepare this invoice? Okay. Okay. So now, already we are created a company. So now you can press F11 features now once again. Okay. Where is that F11 features for our company? Under here, enable GS, enable goods and services. Yes, ma. Yes. Here, this all those details already we are fixed. State name, this and all. Yes. Now here, what you want to enable? For for example, yes. in our company, you are using undigitized dealer purchasing means you want to set this option. Ma. 
Okay, okay. If you want, you can use it. Otherwise, it's not required. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Enable tax liability and reverse charges purchased from unregistered dealer. You can set yes, ma'am. Okay. Now you can save it directly. Okay. You can save this screen only. Control A. Okay. Now already purchase ledger we have. I am yes. creating a stock items, ma. Create to. Okay. First ledger we are creating party name, ma. Okay. Balaji stores. Yes. Balaji stores. He is a Sunday creditor, ma. Yes. So yes. within a state only, ma. Okay. Now, important, ma. Registration type we want to select unregistered now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Unregistered. So he is unregistered dealer means he don't have GST number and all. Yes, yes. Okay, ledger we are created. Now stock item I am creating, ma. Yes. So what items we are purchasing? Notebooks, ma. Yes. It comes under numbers. Unit we okay. want to select it, numbers. Key or GST applicable, applicable. Set and alter, yes. Okay. So stock item name, you can type it. Touches and number. So now here on value, taxability, taxable. Here see ma, is reverse charges applicable? Yes, yes you want to type it ma. Okay. Enter, what is the tax rate? 12%. Okay. Enter, you can save it ma. Okay. Now you can go back ma. Now I am preparing. Next one, all paper is also there, no? Yeah, what ma? Wallpaper is also there, no? So items. one more item, ma. Yes. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. We will continue one thing, okay? Okay, okay, okay ma'am. Okay. Uh, now I am selecting purchase voucher in your button bar, ma. Okay. So one item we have or more items we have, only one processor we are following, ma. Yes. So now what is the party name? Balaji Stores. Balaji. Yes. So name of item, notebooks. notebooks. Here go down main location. 100 numbers I am purchasing. 100 rupees per notebook. Okay. Okay. Now we enter. Here you want to select it. Now you, uh, only this is, this is the invoice. Because of that, uh, he is not giving. He is an unregistered dealer. He is not calculating yes. any tax mark. Yes. Enter, you can save it. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to here. Uh, so where what we are calculated? IGS we are not. We are not calculated any tax. Yes. No? See ma. Yes. Now I am purchasing that goods to unregistered dealer. Okay for that. Yes. That reverse charges, how much we want to pay for government, we don't know now. Yes. So we want to prepare the we want to check that one, no. Yes, so he, uh, here, oh, see clearly. Uh, so clearly, they are mentioned actually. So see in these notes, clearly they are mentioned. Supply from an unregistered dealer. Uh, supply from an unregistered dealer to a registered dealer. If yes. a vendor who is not under under G, if a vendor who is not registered under GST supplies goods to a person who is a registered under GST, then reverse charges would apply. This means that the GST will have to be paid directly by the receiver to the government instead of the supplier. Yes. Who is receiver is there? He is directly want to be paid to GST to the government on behalf of yes. supplier. Yes. The registered dealer who has to pay GST under reverse charge has to be has to do self invoicing for the purchase. Yes. So now we are created invoice, ma'am, but we don't know how yes. much reverse charges we want to pay. Yes. See, automatically it is calculating. We are going okay. to do more reports. Okay. GST reports. Now, purchase not GSTR2, I am opening. Okay. Period, you can change it, March month. Okay. See, ma, here, it is showing B2B war invoices. 
yes b2b you are invited invoices means business to business unregistered dealer purchase okay. okay regular dealer to unregistered dealer purchase that is the meaning here see man last column you are the purchase reverse charge inward supplies how much we yes. want to pay to 100 man okay in a particular month how much this unregistered dealer purchases you done total how much liability do you want to pay reverse charges it is showing clearly man okay ma'am see enter ma see that party name it is showing tax rate and also it is showing no yes okay so monthly so particular month suppose march month tax we are paying april month okay march month total reverse charges how much we want to pay 1200 yes okay in reports regular to regular dealer purchases separately it is showing so this one also yes. separately it is showing no yes ma'am okay ma so what is reverse charge mechanism how we are uh, what is the differences between regular to that one how yes. you give the reports suppose okay. you don't make confusions in our company okay. you are using that one you are purchasing unregistered you are purchasing goods from unregistered dealer means you can use it otherwise it's not required ma okay okay now you have examples no you can practice it yes. okay ma 